Good morning, everybody. Hello, Romina. Hi. We are in a very upsetting situation, <laughs> and then we told you need to know this, and then you need to be prepared for this kind of situation. Unfortunately, Romina didn't pass the test today, and we're going to explain to you why and how you should deal with the situation. So what's happened was Romina? Um, we got a very, very, very chatty um, examiner. Mm -hmm. And he, well, I wasn't expecting so many questions, personal questions uh, throughout the, the whole drive we did um, for the exam. So but at first I thought it was going to be just one or two questions like, um, where do you live? And then what, just... that's what they've been told. They need to ask you two questions, two, three questions, just some breaking guys in the car and making you a little bit more comfortable. Less nervous. Yes. Yeah. But then what happened was? Then he started making more questions like, um, where do you live? Oh, and I said, I live in Birmingham city center. Oh, um, where in the city center? And then he moved my job. And exactly what do you do in your job? When I was I was very vague with what I do, and he wanted to be he wanted to know exactly what is your job description. <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, I'm so upset. Honestly, the mistake was made. That's fair. So we're not complaining about how he judged Romina, but why she made this mistake. That's very upsetting. It is because it made me um, English is not my first language. It doesn't matter. I was trying to be. I was trying to reply properly and also. Uh, be mindful of what was going on on the road and we usually when we have this situation you During usually the yeah we we both know you you don't you don't talk to me when i have to make a decision, decision then you need to focus yeah and and you know that if i start talking it's because i'm it's focusing for everybody but um i was very nervous and i really didn't want to be rude and you have such a polite lady you kept answering those bloody questions yeah and so so many questions and he asked romina he asked he, where are you from? Yes, you answered, I am from Argentina. But exactly from Argentina? You said, I am from the capital for Buenos Aires. Then he asked you, when you saw your family last time? You said, last year. How long have you been in the UK? One and a half year. Who is here with you? My sister. Only your sister? <laughs> Guys, I honestly, I was so upset. So you need to bear in mind, if this happens, you need to make a complaint. Because when we were approaching to a complicated, very complicated freelance roundabout, and the guy asked Romina, what do you do on your free time? Yeah. Guys, I felt like we are an interrogating job interview <laughs> or a first date. And Romina started to answer the question and collecting what you said. Yeah, I uh, collect, I read and, and collect uh, binary mm. records. Yes, and she said, oh, that's lovely. And we were approaching the roundabout and Romina get lost. And she made a bad decision because she was focusing on answering those bloody questions from the examiner. She went to the wrong lane as she entered to the roundabout and then cut in front of somebody. Of course, that's a make a mistake. That's we're not questioning. That was dangerous. But why she did it? Because she was distracting. And you can hear I never been this upset, but this one was totally not professional. No, I noticed that a few times when he was small talking, he would he would uh, give instructions where we were almost at, at the point where we needed to make up a, 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 I don't know turn left or or keep right or whatever. It's like he realized that he wasn't giving the instructions way in advance because he was talking. It's it's very very poor. So basically, what you need to do in this occasion, first of all, you can complain. They're not going to change the the result, mm -hmm. but they're going to. Give you a free test which is not helping you because the experience is bloody bad but we would love to have the other candidates when you have this experience during your driving test you should say to the examiner sorry i'm focusing or don't answer their questions because it's distracting you and then honestly it wasn't that yes or no question what would you no. do today that's normally they're asking you and you would say i will be at work that's it conversation closed and he asked what is your job description what do you do exactly so you said you're auditing. What are you auditing? How long? You said 12 years. Or you continuing from Argentina to back in the UK. Guys, this is unacceptable. Okay, it's extremely unprofessional. And you shouldn't engage this type of conversation during the driving test. You're not going to be rude. You just say to the examiner, sorry, I'm focusing. But this one brings a shame for the DVSA because these professional people, they should know exactly how to conduct a driving test when you are very nervous. 
yeah. and giving you these interrogating questions. Yeah, I was surprised because I, if, um, if this was something usual, common, you would have mentioned it. Of course, and, I would and, prepare and, you and, for and that I, one. Right. And I, I, I really didn't want to be, you know, um, rude with him, not exactly. answering. Um, yeah, I, I, I should have. I mean, now I learn, and next time if someone is talking, I'm just going to, no, just going to focus on myself and my driving. But exactly. If, even the question, even if you don't answer, it it's still in your head. Yes, you're still thinking about it. <laughs> if not the answer, you think about why is he asking me these questions? It's not their business. It's their business to assessing me and my driving safely or not. And, and we're very I was thinking, am I going to ask your number, phone number after the test? Because he was interrogating you like a private questions. Honestly, guys, very, very upsetting. I've never been this upset. I, look, I've been doing this business since 2009, over 14 years by now. Sat on thousands of tests and I never experienced this one. What we do in a mock test, what we normally they do on the driving test, I ask you two questions. Where do you live? What would you do if you would be working today? Those questions are totally normal. They've been taught by their boss to ask this question to break the ice. But interrogating somebody, that's a rather patronizing, pushing you in a position when you're already very nervous mm. and making you totally, it's like an intimate conversation. Yeah, it, uh, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't very comfortable. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. And why are we making this video? Because we want you to be prepared if something happens, if somebody is approaching you like that on the driving test, you need to reject the conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we learn that. But like I said, I never experienced this one in 14 years, so I couldn't prepare you this because this is not how they're doing the normal driving test. But if it happens, raise your voice after or during the test or make a complaint because it should be a professional manner. I'm happy you were with me. Um, Absolutely. I was sitting back. behind you. I was pulling my hair out. <laughs> but I'm, I'm I couldn't not, believe it. I, I'm, I'm happy you were there um, because otherwise... The, the exam would have been, oh, you, you made this mistake, so you're not passing today. And I I would have been left just with my experience. Just And the then you would questioning your driving ability and your concentration. And then you would doubt your your smartness, your, your driving skills. Obviously, like I said, even if I witness the situation, they're not going to change their mind. They're going to say, oh, you passed your driving test. Not because we made that bloody mistake. That's absolutely acceptable. Mm -hmm. But for that reason, I would suggest take your driving instructor with you for the driving test, because if something happens, at least you would be confirmed you did the right thing. Unfortunately, somebody has messed up your success. Somebody messed up your driving test. I'm sorry, guys, I'm very upset. Normally, you, if you see in my videos, I never been this upset, but this is absolutely, I can't accept it. What would you say to the next candidate, how they need to handle if they meet this kind of person? You need to prioritize yourself and your peace of mind and your clarity of mind. So if someone is talking to you and you are not in a position to talk because you need to focus and you need to make decisions, just do not reply. I mean, they are not they are there to test how we drive and to give us a pass if we do it right, but not to know about us. So a small one or two question is fine. Um, I don't mind knowing two, one That's or two things about happens. them. Then some formal questions. Yeah, but so much. Um, yeah, definitely. Digging into your life. If it happens again, life. I'm definitely going to say, I'm sorry. Uh, let's talk later. I need to focus and, and just prioritize me behind the wheel. Definitely. Excellent. So really sorry, guys. We are a little bit upset today, <laughs> but I think you need to know, you need to learn what's the right thing, what is not the right thing. And you need to stand up for your, your right and for your success if you feel you've been totally distracted during the driving exam. Yeah, definitely. At some point, I, I question, why is he talking so much to me? Am I doing this bad? Did I give you any false sign because I fancy with the guy and the guy started to get... I ask you, did, uh, I, honestly, did I do something? Because did you do, I... Yes. I Oh dear. Uh, um, like in the first date, yeah. honestly. <laughs> probably if I wouldn't sit on the back seat, he might would ask your phone number because it, the situation was leading too deeply to your personal life. Yeah. 
It's guys, so be careful, we wish you best of luck and one more time apologies for the upsetting tone but it's it's for your sake to not ending up in this kind of situation. Thank you very much Romina, one more time to I'm share sure. this experience so we will be absolutely happy to pass you next time, okay? But we had to get out this one from your chest for the sake of for other candidates in the country. Definitely. Thank you very much, see you next time, bye. The person is